Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks, and fellow churchgoers. Why do I say that? Because I got my holy jeans on. I'm ready to go to church, baby. All bad jokes aside, we are looking at the Crush Carrier. The Crush Carrier has, um, well maybe, has it seen better days or is it, is this the transformation stage? I think it's the transformation stage. I got off a lot of the siding, you guys didn't see that. I posted, well I filmed some videos and I, it never made it to YouTube. I have a whole bunch of videos that have not made it to YouTube. But anyways, I took off the front windows. Jake actually helped me with that and I, what I actually did was I took the back side and threw it on the front side. So we're just recycling basically. However though, we have one big mess in here. Nothing I cannot handle. I came up here today because first of all, a lot of you people in the comment section went down there and said, hey, 3D Machines, go up to the camper, check it out, let us know what's up, update us. So that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what that comment section's for. So go ahead and use it. I got my handy dandy tape measure. And I have some ideas. I also have some hornets in here. How are you doing? All right, this is a crush carrier, not a bee carrier, just to let you know. There we go, all marked, all done for the day. No, I'm completely joking. Yesterday, uh, I told Jason, we gotta measure crush officially, we gotta come up with an official measurement for him so that we know exactly how this thing's going to fit with our vision. You guys know I wanna cut off a portion of the back, now I just did the measurement of where I want to cut and Crush sits right here. Now he doesn't actually sit there, he's actually four inches shy of that, but that allows us to have two inches both on the front and on the back to play with. That ladies and gentlemen is called a tolerance or um, just in case human error occurs. And if you watch this channel, human error occurs quite often like, oh! So I honestly want to cut it right in front of that door so there's a beam already there for me. I don't have to make anything new on this side. And then along with that side, I, I'm hoping that it lines up perfectly and that that stud lines up with this stud. Because if that were to happen, then I really just have to pull out a sawzall, make that, that cut, and then start installing my door. Headed towards the warehouse, we're gonna pick up some tools. Cole, my brother, should be up to help, which is awesome. We're gonna try to take up about 10 feet of the back there, so that way I can build a steel door. A few days ago when I was hanging out with Ian, I told him, I said, I bought a door for the thing, I just can't get it shipped. Nobody will ship it from Adrian, Michigan, I believe, to where I am. So he asked me a couple questions, then we went over to Jake's trailers, and we checked those out. Now we're gonna go over to Jake's place. Jake's not there, but we're gonna go there because I wanna look at a trailer door. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> I gotta turn on the truck now so I can roll down Ian's window. That was that was a nice little addition oh, well, you put in the vlog there. Well, hey. So we gotta go to his place because uh, the crush carrier needs a rear door. I originally bought one, but uh, Ian's like, by the time you buy it, go and get it, it's not gonna be worth it. Dude, you reek. So we're gonna go look, oh my goodness, I need to get moving, get some new air in here. So we can look at this trailer door or even that trailer door. How's it going, Poochies? See, this is what we have to build right here. I understand so that. you said, you Why? said one. How are we ever gonna? Well, you can look at it. Come See, on. this one's got a steel frame. Is this door gonna fall down on me? I don't know, take it easy there. Does it come down like this or? Yeah. Do you know if it's broken? Nope. This thing could kill you, I have no idea. So it looks like I'm gonna try to build one of these things. Never have I done it before, but it, so far it doesn't look like it's too complicated, but everything never looks complicated. We'll try. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, so my fuel's low. I treat this thing like a Prius. I should really invest in something that's slightly more fuel efficient than a Duramax. Duramax, is, you, it's not good. I don't know if you can hear that, but listen. All day it's kind of been raining and misting and things, so I was just driving and I heard that noise and I'm like, oh man, now it's raining, I'm looking around for the clouds, I'm like, is it gonna rain? And then I really paid attention to my window and I'm like, those aren't raindrops, those are bugs. Whatever bug is now mating, the Duramax has probably killed a thousand of them. Cole's working on the siding over here. I removed the door. We also just made a chalk line up on the ceiling here, or I guess on the roof. I'll show you that in just one second. There's our beautiful chalk line. So I'm gonna take an angle grinder, grind that. This whole section will be removed. Oh, what? We folded the hinge out in. I have cut the roof so that roof's ready to go. That wall's ready to go. And this thing's ready to be removed. Looks like the family's having fun though. Yeah. <laughs> 
It ain't moving. <laughs> Yep, we're taking it to the landfill. Cole supervising the load back on the trailer. I don't know if you can see him. He's in the orange shirt right there. There he is. Cole acting as a human stud actually worked out very, very well. We got this whole back end off. I think I want to remove this plywood now. Cut the floor so that we can hopefully remove the whole thing in one piece. Make it easier to throw it on the trailer. Get it out of our way. And just like that, it's dark. We did a lot of work. We got it cleaned up over there. We also got some scrap in the trailer for tomorrow. Not only can I take some scrap back tomorrow, but we also have the Jeep appointment. The Jeep appointment, we gotta get that thing running. Hopefully they can reprogram the computer. If not, uh, gonna kinda be disappointed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, smash that like button. Give me your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, 3D Machines out.